That's not true. Oh my God. Sir, I take methadone. I take methadone. Yeah, but it blocks opiates. I guess, I guess I'm not going to change your mind. Yes. Yes, I do. Yeah. I forget what I wanted to... Uh, yeah, end, and then I'll bring you right back up. All right. What was his name? Oh, it was shit something. There he is. All right, there we go. Is that better? Yes. Awesome. All right. Perfect. Great. Yeah, that was absolutely weird, Sarah. I agree. All right. So, I said her was, I'm not going to be like holding her hand. I'm not going to give her all this positive reinforcement because she doesn't respond to that. She responds to the negative. She responds to people putting their, putting their foot all the way up her butt. Right. So I'm just going to shoot it to her straight. I got really no dogs in the fight. I don't, I don't want to be changed how do i have my mind changed I'm like that. you're an addict you're going to be an addict for the rest of your life you have to make the fucking decision to get yourself clean yes and you don't yeah and it's not for your kids it's for you because you got to be the one that wants to that wants to see your kids be proud of you you got to be the one that wants them to be like my mom's not a fucking loser a fucking bum a waste of my fucking time right only of your kids addicted to heroin no, none of them are. Perfect. Are they addicted to any sort of drug? Um, my oldest is smokes crack once in a while. Damn, that's unfortunate. That's unfortunate. But you know what? She learned it from you. She got that behavior from you by watching you do drugs. Guaranteed. Guaranteed. That's on you. So you got to fix yourself to fix that. Right? You got to fix that to fix her. So all this bullshit about my doctors won't do this. I can't do this. The, the physical system symptoms of withdrawal. Do whatever time you need to get yourself fucking clean. Don't be a stupid dummy. Don't be a fucking idiot. It's hard. I know it's hard, but you're a fucking grown ass woman. Are you not? Yes. All right. Perfect. Great. So now that we know that you're a grown ass woman, it's time for you to make grown ass woman decisions instead of being a fucking loser. That's what you're being right now. You're being a bum. 
You got to make the right decisions. If you want to, if you want to reach out to tech, cool. If you don't want to reach out to tech, that's fine. I really don't give a fuck about tech one way or the other. Everyone's sitting here praising tech. I don't care. I don't care about saved by God's grace, what they were saying. I don't care about any of that pussyfooting, holding your hand like you're a fucking child. You're a grown ass woman and you need to be told like a grown ass woman that you need to get your shit together. Yes. So my, my question to you is, are you done with the denial? Are you done with the excuses? Are you done not telling the truth? Because there were people in here earlier, I'm going to say it again, that heard you cut and scrape a fucking pill and we, we heard you snort it. So are you 100% clean at this point in your life? Are you 100% clean? It wasn't a pill. So what did you cut up? What did, so what did you cut up and scrape? I really don't know what you're referring to. Interesting, interesting. Because I, 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 you, I mean, here we go with the denial. Yeah, exactly, Joe. Exactly. You, you, I don't know if you guys, if I don't know if you heard it, Joe, but she, it, it, it happened. There were multiple people that heard it. Acknowledge it in the chat. So I'm just telling you that we heard it. Be real with us, and we can be real with you. Right? That's why I'm up here. I don't know who you are. I don't give a fuck about your life at the end of the day. I don't give a fuck about the decisions you choose to make. But the only thing is, as a parent, for me, it pisses me off to hear that you're such a fucking bum that you can't get yourself clean in the hopes that your children will one day respect you. Because right now, they do not fucking respect you. Look at the chat. Everyone heard it. Everyone heard it. So we need for you to not be in denial. You got to just admit. You just got to admit that you fuck that you're fucking up, that you're not 100% clean. And that's it. So are you yeah, are you 100% clean? I, I do things that are prescribed to me. Oh yeah. Okay. So you said you said what? You got the uh, you got the methadone and the the pills, right? Yeah, the clonopin. Yeah, clonopin. Okay. So other than those, are you one hundred percent clean? Yes. And you take those pills and you take that methadone as prescribed. I mean, honestly, some days I'll take an extra one if my anxiety's high. Perfect. Awesome. Great. So you're not taking the fucking pills as as you're meant to be used. So you're not fucking clean. You're abusing the medication. Yeah. Awesome. So you're not 100% clean. How many of those kids live with you? One. And I'm going to ask a question that I, I pray to God the answer is fucking no. Have they ever seen you do any of this stuff? No. Good. Good. If they ever do, I really, truly hope that karma comes down on you hard. I truly believe in my heart of hearts that you should not have any child within that home right now while you are in active recovery. I agree. I agree, Meg. But we're just gonna run. Wow. We're, we're just gonna run off the the the, the lie. <clears throat> okay. So everyone's saying that your kids have. I don't know who Jace is, but apparently Jace was beat up. I hope it wasn't by you or somebody in the house. Wow. All right. Jace. Jace has seen her. Jace not never off. got fucking, beat up. That's crazy. <clears throat> <clears throat> so listen, listen. Everyone's talking about make better choices, do this. Yeah, make better choices. What, are, what kind of choices are you going to make in your life from now on? Because if you aren't making good choices, everyone that comes up here and talks to you shouldn't be holding your freaking hand like you're a damn toddler. Because you're not a toddler. You're a drug addict. And you need to admit that to yourself. You need to accept that. And you need to stop saying that the doctors won't do this for you. The doctors won't do that for you. You're not trying. You're not asking. That's what's happening.
you're not putting in the effort that needs to be made. Are you? And what are the sounds in the background that we're all hearing? Are you playing with a card or something? No, I'm, I'm plugging in my extension cord. So I, so, uh, are, so, okay, uh, did you hear the question that I asked you? you? You said that I'm lying about talking to my doctors? Yeah. Is that not, it, uh, are you actually talking to your doctors, yes or no? Yes, and they told me it would take like two years to come down off of 120 milligrams. Yeah, okay, so fine. So two years, two years. That's that's worth the effort, is it not? If you're if you're tired, as I when I came in here, right, you were talking to Tech, and you said, it's "Been 15 years. I've been trying to get off this stuff. If it's been 15 years, what is two? What is two to get off? If you've been on it for 15, what's two to get off?" Not much, really. Exactly. So stop being a bonehead. Stop being a, I can't do this because I'm a fucking coward. It's tough. It's hard. There are plenty of people on methadone, right? And plenty of people that get off the methadone. Right. So stop making fucking excuses. Can you agree to do that? I don't expect you to hold true to it, but can you agree to do that right here and right now in front of all these people, all fucking 725 of these people? Because each and every yes. one of them are going to hold you accountable. That was a yes? Yes. Awesome. Everyone in this chat right now, you make sure to hold her fucking ass accountable. Every single time. Because she's doing the pills again. She's taking another pill because I got her all anxious. As I fucking should because she knows I'm in the right. I haven't taken anything. Turn your camera on then. Turn your camera on right now. Listen, sir. I know you're being like hostile with me right now. I'm being honest with you is what I'm being. I'm being the tough love that you fucking need. Turn on the camera. Hold on, let me figure out how to turn it back. If I had enough followers, I would turn my camera on too, but I don't. You know what? <laughs> how about this? No, not to you, shit poster. How about this? Uh, no. No, no what? No turning on the camera? No camera, because everybody in the chat is saying camera on, camera They've on now. They've been saying camera on. They've been saying that since you were talking to Tech, probably since before you were talking to Tech, since you were talking to Save by God's Grace, since Heather was up there. I've been in here for a fat minute listening to you just bullshit and put excuses out there, so turn that fucking camera on, lady. How do I get it back? Uh, and then when I'm done, make sure you get saved by God's grace back up here. And just to let you guys just saved by God's grace, Heather Tech, I'm I'm not trying to be disrespectful to you guys whatsoever. We all have our different styles. It's just this is obviously what she needs because she's clearly responding much better. Perfect. Okay, hold on. Hold on, let me turn it around. That mop and bucket go crazy. I'm just gonna throw that out there. Yeah, that's fine. You can make fun of my house. No, I I, mean, no, I, I literally have that same mop and bucket. That's why I said it goes crazy. I like that mop and bucket. Okay, the camera's on. All right, we see you. Perfect. This is good. This is good. All right. Now, I know, like I said, I don't have enough followers, but I am face to face with you right now. I'm looking at you. We're, we're, we're just two people sitting across from each other right now, right? Mm-hmm. So... Let's let we're already all going to hold you accountable. Right? Everyone everyone was here earlier when we said we we're going to hold you accountable. So we're going to hold you accountable. Let's go further with that. Let's start the plan right now. Fuck calling in the morning. Let's start the plan right now. I can't, Sheila. I don't have enough followers. 
I would if I could, though. Okay. What's the plan? Right. That, that's what's the plan? What is your first step? Well, I have group tomorrow. I could talk to the counselor about um, making an appointment to talk to the doctor about starting to decrease. Yeah, yeah. Keep going to group. Talk to your doctor. You should be able to make that appointment yourself, right? Um, honestly, I'm I'm not sure. I'll have to talk to the counselor and ask her. Okay. Well, either way, either way, keep going to group. Talk to the damn doctor. If the doctor gives you some bullshit about, well, we can't do this, or, it, you know, la da 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 which you already said they didn't actually say. They said it would take two years. So what you're going to mm -hmm. do when you go to the doctor is you're going to say, I'm ready. I fully believe I'm ready. There may be, there may be cracks in the pavement along the way, but I believe I'm ready. I want to, I want to mm -hmm. wean off the methadone. And if they say they need to put you in a rehab facility, you tell them, because you said 30 days wasn't enough the last time you were in there, you tell them 30 days wasn't enough. I need to be in there for 60 to 90. You make sure you set yourself up for success. <clears throat> Sorry, guys. No, don't even worry about calling tech. Like, get a, get a sponsor. Do you guys, do you guys li uh, live? Um... Here, I'm gonna I'm, I'm gonna post a comment. Someone said post a comment. Texas Terry. There you go. Now you guys can now you guys can follow me. I think you could by clicking my name anyway. Wallflower, I don't need to chill. She's actually responding to this. She's not responding to the oh Lisa, hi, it's me, your little fairy godmother. No, she doesn't fucking respond to that. She responds to being told what the fuck it is. Is Tech her sponsor? It is private. It's okay. It's private. I'll accept. It doesn't matter. Okay, perfect. Tech lives near her. Great. Awesome. So if Tech lives near you, call Tech. I wasn't sure if Tech was, was close to you or not. All right? So here's the deal. You're going to go to the doctor. You're going to tell him, I'm ready. Put me in the 90-day treatment, whatever. You know, whatever you feel is necessary. Right? Your son will be taken care of. I will, I will, Jillian. Give me, give me a second. Um, no, you guys can still request to follow. I just, I just have to 